Cuba traigo el son ritmo sabroso. De okay, Cuba what YouTube no sold this video is Money Mindset System. Quick little video on the Money Mindset System. Um, if you're going to be on the or watching the budgets and business series, I like big budgets and I can't not lie. Um, where I'm going to be talking about budgets, I'm going to be talking about credit, I'm going to be talking about investing. And again, from this is I, I come from this series with Dear God, Are We There Yet? Because these are conversations that we're talking about. I see a lot of my past clients and friends and family and people and they're just like, I'm like, well, do you have a budget? Because I'm, I'm the first person to be like, that's not in my budget. No, I'm not cheap. No, I'm not frugal. I just respect my money and I respect that if there's things that I want to do where I've done in the present or in the past, people always ask me like, Oh, well, how have you been able to travel all these places and go and experiences? Uh, do you think that I'm going on the full red? No, I am on a budget. It's not in my budget, even an airline ticket, even an Airbnb, even a pair of shoes, whatever it is. And of course, it's good to splurge. And and when you respect your money, then you can you can fit in whatever it is that you want to your extracurriculum. Uh, activities which I'm going to talk about in the budget series so that's coming up next but this video is about and I have my little notes because I want to stay on track because you know I can carry yes um the money mindset system so we're going to talk about three elements here make mend and move on so in the budget series there's a couple of things that I want to start getting your mind rolling and your mind going of People always say like, well, how can I make extra money or how can I bring more money in my business or how can in my own personal life? Because not everybody is an entrepreneur and not everybody is um, their business model is the same. But there's a couple of things that you can do with the money uh, mindset system and that's make, mend and move on. So for the make, make extra moolah. A lot of you do not know a lot of you do not know how many resources and how much knowledge and experience you have. It doesn't matter how old you are and where you've worked and what you've done. You have experience in a subject matter expert of something. You, you, everybody has it. And doing that starts with a service. So I want to introduce to you this idea of service. Now, in a lot of my past, um, with my past clients with fashion is business i always talk about residual income because that's like king it really is residual income is king um but what people may not realize that residual income doesn't always have to deal with an actual product it can actually deal with a service which is the best because you can change and evolve so for all my crafters out there all my creatives i want you to ask yourself about your business model and something that is a pain point so write this down if you're a business person are you trying to get into your business what is a pain point in your business i'm going to say it again what is a pain point in your business or in the world of what you are a professional at or whatever you're a subject matter expert. The reason why I say what is a pain point because that is the number one marketing technique of how to find your tribe into making a service for people that are in a pain point. A pain point, you're like, what is a pain point? It's a problem. A pain point is a problem. What can you solve with your service for this pain point or this problem? A lot of entrepreneurs and successful people say, if you can solve a problem, you'll be in business for a very, very long time. A very long time. And it's not just a problem today or a pain point today, but it's an ongoing pain point and it's an ongoing problem, meaning that, you know, it's something that changes with time where it will change with target markets and industries and you get my drift. And if you need a little bit more examples, you can go ahead and email me at hello at yet.com and I will get personal with you and be like helping you out. So making a service is all about, a successful service that's residual income is all about identifying the pain points or problems in your industry or in your target market, which is the group of people that you sell to and this way that you can create a service that will alleviate that pain or help them again hit me up if you need some examples because i got a lot
that's the experience and knowledge. Um, and I'll give you an example for, hmm, maybe I should, I don't know, should I give you an example? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, I can give you an example. So there's a lot of apps right now that people need certain, oh, I got this one for you. This is the best one and it's about budgets. The crazy coupon lady. I know I talk about her all the freaking time because this app is one incredible. The pain point, here's the pain point. The pain point is budgeters or couponers like myself or other people that are way more like awesome because I'm not that awesome. Um, they didn't want to carry all these big bucks of coupons everywhere in the store and like a whole 40 hour work week just doing your coupons. So crazy coupon lady is like, I got you. <laughs> I got you, you gonna download this app. And all those manufactured coupons and all those coupons that are in your local paper or who uh, um, not just manufactured coupons but also brands and coupons, I'm going to go ahead and house them on an app. And everything is going to link. So all you need to do is just have your app and you can just go to the store and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. You don't physically need to have coupons because everything now is online. And it tells you exactly what you need to do for your rebates or what you can, which coupons you can use. It tells you where in the store the items are. So you get my drift. Now you're like, well, how does she make money? Because the app is free. <gasps> advertising. And who wouldn't want to be on the Crazy Coupons Ladies advertising when her target market are people like you and I that love budgets or love to save money? That is a pain point. That is is a solving a problem that is like a double whammy of awesome and it can go on and on throughout the this you know the economy and the society that when things change uh, from an economical standpoint even if the stock market changes coupon crazy coupon lady is going to tell you who's going out of business my whole point is that if you are a business owner right now even in fashion i always used to talk about this in fashion I, I always used to say this, um, even as a fashion designer myself, what is the pain point? Okay, the pain point is me that someone's gonna look fabulous, great. But there has to be another pain point. Like, yes, it, what's gonna really set me apart from somebody else? Think about it, it has to go deeper. You have to know your target market, you have to know why. Um, I saw this girl, um, I saw this girl online and she was doing, um, she had an eyelash brand and she created like these drops or something that you put in every single night because um, I guess people were getting dryness or whatever. My whole point is her business model was all about the health aspect and how to add these certain drops that were natural to the, the, these products that we like to use to help us for our skin the pain point was skin issues but there's people like myself i love makeup um but there's a lot of bad things in makeup too so it's i know it sounds weird it's like you weigh out the good with the bad my whole point is find the pain point and that is make you see estoy hablando mucho y tengo que comenzar en la otra porque después vamos a estar aquí como 20 minutos okay mend Let's see here. New habits. Um, so whatever habit you might have, you have to try to use, you have to, cons I don't want to use that word. You have to try to find alternative solutions for your habits to create new habits. So some people feel like coffee's their thing and it's a huge thing. I, I see it all the time. Um, I know when I used to live in New York, you could see me at a Starbucks every three blocks because Starbucks is like a really big staple in New York and it's just super easy to just go in and order a venti latte da -da 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 that costs you like ten dollars by the end of the day it's done but let me do the math with you okay you do and I don't even have my calculator with me oh my god what kind of budget person am I um but if you do coffee every single day a Starbucks let's not even take Starbucks let's go a little bit like I don't know McDonald's right a dollar coffee you're like oh girl it's only a dollar yeah that's thirty dollars in a whole month that's sixty dollars in three months now you keep you can keep doing the math my whole point is that you could have purchased your own 
and you could get all your cups you can get the plastic cups and from if it makes you feel that good like you want to have a to-go cup you could find alternative solutions or learn how to make creative coffee mixes and and buy the pumps and do your own little pump and go on youtube and find my whole point is that sometimes when we are trying to add new habits in our budgets we need to find different solutions and how to give us the same satisfaction so even if it's someone who loves clothes you know yeah there's ways that you can go and go shopping right in your closet go to goodwill go to plato's closet there's a lot of different alternatives even online where people you can even rent um do rent the runway i don't know if that might be in your budget but if you buy high-end products all the time then rent the runway might be but might be for you so um my whole point is that you have to create new products and you have to not create new products you have to create new habits so you have to find solutions or products or things to kind of you know substitute them and that is entire that's the whole mindset of mending it so coffee is something big shopping is something big um some people are like movie goers and they love movies i get it it's an experience but there's ways that you can kind of say i don't have to do it every day or every weekend but when you see the budgets in my other videos you're going to see how you can do all these things and you're going to see how you can have a fun money account and you can have a savings account and you don't feel guilty because you're paying yourself and you're thinking about your future i ask so many moms um and i ask people all the time like not because I'm curious, but because I'm just, you know, I, I always want to know about products, you know, like uh, banks or uh, services or just, you know, it's good. It's like talking. And some of them are like, I haven't, I haven't started saving for my child or I haven't thought about it. Or, you know, um, if I have an emergency, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, in I think about this too because like when one day when I ever when I have a family one day I will have to change my mindset that it's not about me anymore and so mending and that concept of mending and changing my mindset on alternative solutions of how can I do this and do that and kind of work the way it's not going to be easy it's not going to be hard I mean it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard but you have to basically change your mindset so that's mend so if you have children or you have a family and you're kind of like watch my previous video about do you need a budget mm, think about it because these it, if you don't have a budget budgets will make you feel really really good it's like a hug it'll make you feel good all right the last one is sell in our homes we have a hundred things that we can sell you would be surprised like offer up or facebook marketplace or craigslist there's people that buy stuff and resell it sometimes people buy things um and they give it for gifts sometimes you can donate um and you can use that as for your tax write-off at the end of the year so american red cross is really big to know like really big <laughs> i know but you understand me um, where you can call them and they do routes in the neighborhood depending on where you live and they can actually pick up the clothes or pick up things and then they will give you for your tax write-off selling or giving away is getting rid of crap now we all watch the videos with um, La Chinita ¿Cómo se llama ella? Um, I think I, I, I have her name the tip of my tongue but you know what I'm talking about um, she's on I did a story about this. I did an article. Oh my God, I can't remember. You know who I'm talking about though. She organizes and folds everything. The method, the method, the organizing one. But, you know, she has a really good point. If it doesn't bring you joy or you don't really use it, then you gotta give it away because there's no point of having all these things if you're not really gonna use it or it's just keeping up space. So the last one of this mindset is making a habit of mending of selling things or getting rid of things in your home or your house or your, wherever you're at your business and letting it go and bringing in new things and it doesn't have to be physical things maybe 
maybe if you give away and you sell them, maybe you can go to, I don't know, wherever you want to go next. Not everybody likes to travel, but that's just an idea. All right, so that's it for this video. And I will be giving you more tips on my other videos of I like big, but I cannot lie.